All right, guys. Um, we have a match from China today. We haven't taken a look at the matches across the sea in quite some time, and this match is very, very exciting and very, very high level. So we'll be looking at some of the the wing plays and and the D scores that's happening in this match. Um, one thing that I noticed in general from China is their autos didn't seem to be be as good as the ones here in in the U.S. And um, I mean, this match could be this match is. A bit different, but overall, from the matches I saw, <clears throat> when I've been researching, it didn't look like their autos were as good, and they don't rush the the center the control zone nearly as much, which is one thing that is absolutely huge today. And um, in today's meta, it was where you just you just throw like four blocks in, and then you go and use your wing and get control of that control zone because that is massive for auto auto bonus, and it's massive for for the match because you want to have control over that that control zone anyways they're going to argue over who has this control zone here on the close for quite some time anyways and we're going to skip forward um and right at the match starts you can see uh smart for for red team here to realize they can bush because blue's wing blue's wing is up so this is a very good opportunity for them to to fully take advantage and bush right um, but what they should have done is they should have waited because they, sh they should have waited here after the push, knowing that blue is going to push back. Of course they will, right? Now, wouldn't they? They get kind of lucky here, getting, uh, getting the rest of the blue blocks out and blue trying to use that one singular block left to do some more work on, on red and red's going to, it's going to make it tied, right? So now both teams, everyone going to get some blocks now, right? Kind of one other thing I realized that China does quite well is is the switching between roles, switching between um, whenever there is a lack of of things going on at the at the at the the long goals, right? Where there's like not really a big change that can happen, right? right? They control this this blue team here controls this top um, this top long goal, and this one's tied, right? And they're just waiting for reds to get some blocks because once the reds get some blocks, they can um, they can they can get back to work and they can. Get back to, to descoring and scoring, whatever. So in this time, blue is gonna take full control of that center goal right from red, which is very smart. And and now, um, right, red's trying to trying to do the same thing here. I realize it's interesting that nobody is really nobody is really trying to go for for initiative at at the goal, right? At least for for a couple seconds here, nobody was. And blue puts in two two blocks, right? Makes it four blocks, is which is kind of the maximum you want in in the goal and the reason for that is because that's how many fits into the control zone which can't really be the score as of now right so um they're gonna try their best to do that as red hits a pretty big d score on the top here with no no defense right they score three in right which is which is kind of right now i guess the the rallies whatever you want to call it um you only really score three blocks is honestly the max you'd score right because up here they score like three blocks but push two back into the into the control zone and they leave right wait for blue to to come back and probably do the same thing right which is what they're going to try to do they, they put one block in this time and honestly that's even enough right to to, to, to do some to do some damage to, to the control zone red's going to go back and and do some more work and we're going to just see these these rallies being played out and honestly um, I think I think playing on the center is much better than playing on a side, right? Um, what I mean by that is there are two sides of of the goal on the long goal you can be on, right? You can either be inside the alley here next to the wall, right, which is what that this blue team is, or you can be on the inside, right, next to the the long goal, which is where red the red teams are, right? Which I think is a much better position to be in um, long term because. You just have more map control. You're more, you're more field, field control. You're able to, to get to the elements much quicker, right? And down here, this blue team. Um, I'm not saying never to go to the corners because I'd realize a lot of blocks roll to the corners, right? So once or twice a match, I would definitely go and sweep the corners full of your blocks and fill up your intake, get ready for a couple couple of those rallies. But here, um, you can see that this blue team wasn't really engaged in doing a lot of stuff whenever he was in that corner. Um, and that gave red team opportunity take back control of the center goal right it's pretty huge and um kind of a fumble here they kind of run into each other as blue team is going for the z score 
So better coordination and better, better just like overall uh, game sense between the two drivers. Um, blue team, however, isn't really able to get an amazing D score for for some time. And as they, as they are going for that D score, red, of course, going for their own own D score um, on the top goal. And it's gonna it's gonna look pretty promising here as they to clear the whole thing out. And and also um, in the bottom here, blue scores a couple blocks, trying to trying to get someone in. And you know it's gonna be it's gonna be rough for them to to really fend off. Um, as you can see, right once again, red team takes control of that center area, which is so powerful. Like like um, you should always be be playing closer to. To the center, so you can kind of have access to everything, as you can see, right? This this goal here, in red's control. Red is just waiting for blue to get some blocks, and the reason for that is because there's no reason for them to get more get more blocks put into this goal, because it's just gonna get descored later on. So what they're doing is, instead of um, waiting here for blue to score, they can always get here bef uh, whenever blue scores, right? There's such a small gap distance between the center goal and the long goals, where you would be fine. Just to be playing, playing these two tasks, right? Get in the long goal, uh, or so get in the center goal, and then whenever your opponent scores that that long goal, you go back, right? And if you and you can see here, he's able to get back in time, although it doesn't really look like he's he's going to try to do anything there. He's just waiting for blue to kind of make a play, and then he kind of messes up. But still, you can see how how quick you can get back there. Although this red team did make mess up the the, the D score there. They still got back in time, right? So, you no. Know, in another case, it might have worked. Anyways, very, very good match. And I'm pretty sure Red still won because they had a lot of the, the, the stuff on the field. So.